and Peter Penn. Thanks a lot, uh, my name is Ben Wild, I'm the CEO of Biochero, and we actually use Slack, and it's pretty awesome. Um, so uh, we're in the Internet of Things space, uh, we're building a new crowdsourced wireless Internet of Things network. Um, Internet of Things is like a very hot topic these days, and uh, Cisco projects that by 2020, there's going to be 50 billion IoT devices connected to the Internet. Many of these billions of devices are going to be connected over short range links like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, but there's going to be billions of devices that need to be connected over long range links. Things like parking sensors, tracking devices, utility sensors. Today, if you want to connect these devices to the internet, you're stuck with using the cellular network, Verizon, at and These companies have designed wireless networks for connecting smartphones to the internet. Smartphones can be recharged on a daily basis, and they're pretty expensive. So uh, we realized there's a need for a new wireless network that's way less power, uh, power hungry and, less, and cheaper as well than the traditional cellular networks. So we decided to build a new crowdsourced wireless internet-based network. The way it works is uh, consumers buy these devices called home bases. And these home bases are like tiny little base stations that plug in uh, kind of in your house next to a window. Uh, it has a Wi-Fi chip inside, so it connects to the internet over Wi-Fi. And then we use the 900 megahertz unlicensed band to create a new wireless kind of star network. Uh, the great thing about this is that each home base creates a coverage level of between one to four miles, depending on how, how wide you install it. Typically we get about four miles if you're on a hilltop, one mile if you're on the second story of a house. Um, and because of the uh, long range, we cover entire cities with very few of these home bases. Uh, we actually have about 400 of these home bases installed in the Bay Area, providing a network which has about 70% coverage so far. We're going to get to 100% uh, in the next couple of months. Uh, each home base can connect up to 10,000 IoT devices to it, so it's a very high capacity. Um, and we've designed a wireless protocol from scratch to be 10 times lower power consumption than traditional cellular networks from the AT&T Verizon. Um, so we actually de developed the first device that runs on this network called the IOTA. So the IOTA is the world's smallest GPS tracker. It has GPS for outdoor positioning. It has Bluetooth low energy, which you can use for indoor positioning. It has a temperature sensor. It has a three-axis accelerometer, which you can use for motion detection. Um, the main use case for this product is for pet tracking, uh, but you can also use it for child tracking, for bicycle tracking, for husband and wife tracking. I'm just kidding. Although we have had some people use it for that. So, um, yeah, so it is about three times smaller than the nearest competitor, um, and it works anywhere where we have coverage. Uh, so it's just like a, a track that works on a cellular network, but much longer battery life. We get about a one month battery life on this. Uh, we're the first real time tracker that doesn't have a monthly service fee, which is an industry first. So we think this is really going to spur adoption. The market is projected to be about $3 million a year in the next two years. Um, and I guess I could show you a demo as well. Um, right here, 
And that is actually sitting next to our home base, so it knows that's really close to that home base, and it shows you like a really small bubble for the location. Uh, the great thing about this also is that you can do things like set up geofences. So let me show you how to do that. So you can click on a tracker, then add an alert, click on geofence, and what you can do here is draw a circular boundary around your home base. And this is really good for like pet tracking, for instance. So if your tracker goes outside this boundary, you get an automatic text message alert telling you that your pet went away for instance, uh, which is really awesome. So you can like get at work, you get a message, you can go quickly and track your pet and find them. So you're mostly interested in the network, not the tracking? 
Uh, right now, we're definitely, uh, the long-term goal is to be a network provider for the Internet of Things, and tracking devices really just allows us to build up the network.